Do either of you remember the challenge that Elder Neil L. Anderson gave at Rootstech two years ago? Prepare as many names for the temple as baptisms you perform in the temple. And last year he added eight words and helped someone else to do the same. Exactly. Let's read in Ezekiel chapter 47. Afterward he, an angel, brought me, Ezekiel, again unto the door of the house of the Lord. And behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. For the forefront of the house stood toward the east, and the waters came down from under, from the right side of the house, at the south side of the altar. And when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits, and he brought me through the waters. The waters were to the ankles. Again he measured a thousand, and brought me through the waters. The waters were to the knees. Again he measured a thousand, and brought me through. The waters were to the loins. Afterward he measured a thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over. For the waters were risen, waters to swim in, a river that could not be passed over. Then said he unto me, These waters issue out toward the east country, and go down into the desert, and go into the sea, which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth, whithersoever the river shall come, shall live. And there shall be a very great multitude of fish because these waters shall come thither, for they shall be healed, and everything shall live whither the river cometh. Ezekiel sees a river that increases as it flows from the house. The water that's moving forth from the temple represents blessings which flow from the temples to heal families and give them life. The growth of the river is similar to the exponential growth of our family through the generations. The blessings of the temple are available to everything and everyone. And what blessings? Everything shall live whither the river cometh. Brothers and sisters, I promise you protection for you and your family as you take this challenge to find as many names to take to the temple as ordinances you perform in the temple and teach others to do the same. And if you accept this challenge, blessings will begin to flow to you and your family, like the power of the river spoken of by Ezekiel. And the river will grow as you continue to perform this work and teach others to do the same. You'll find not only protection from the temptation and ills of this world, but you'll also find personal power, power to change, power to repent, power to learn, power to be sanctified, and power to turn the hearts of your family together and heal that which needs healing.